Good morning, everyone. So today, I'm just gonna take you with me as I get ready for work and to show you how I achieve this everyday makeup look. If this is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching, okay? I think I look cute. No? Okay, just get in. in my room but I just woke up and I'm getting ready to go to work I just washed my face and prepped it you know with my essence and moisturizer first thing first I'm gonna put some primer for my big pores and try to hide it for a bit I'm using NYX pore filler I just got it like last week and I think it doesn't do that much difference actually but since I bought it, I'm just gonna use it It has a really velvety texture on my face So you can see my pore is a little bit blurred out I guess I don't know man, I bought it so I'm just gonna use it Next up, I'm gonna use concealer under my eyes uh, You know this thing, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind stuff I'm using the shade medium because I have quite a tan skin tone Although, I think I would, I kinda regret getting this tone I would prefer like a slightly lighter tone But I got it already again, I'm just gonna use it I was gonna like rub it under my eyes. Have this like, mini triangle thingy. Does it make much difference? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it kind of like brightens up this area, right? So that's what I. That's the only like skin base that I do besides my primer. I no longer use foundation for my everyday work makeup. I've been wanting to just let my skin breathe and I think it's been doing a good job plus like um, with all the like essence and uh, creams that I've been using to help with my skin I think my skin has been getting so much better and let's just cover a little bit of this like imperfections here and there because of like that dewy texture that I have on my skin because of the products and I don't really like that um, I put on loose powder I am using the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder That's what I'm using I've been having this for years now <laughs> Like I'm not joking It was since I was in university So it's like at least 2 years plus I think it's gonna expire soon there's no expiry date, but I don't want to use it for a long time. But then again, it's a good powder. It doesn't smell weird or anything. It's not hurting my skin, so I'm just going to use it. Right now, I am using Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil. It's only like 14 ringgit. And it's actually pretty good. Let's see. Let me look for what shade I'm using. I don't think there's a... Wait. Oh, I remember. I'm using the shade Urban Brown. Let's draw my brows. Important stuff. Because I have brows. But it's as if I don't have it. Draw my brows. I'm not really good in doing my brows. I haven't really... um. What's that called? Uh, trim my brows for a long time. I really need to like get it threaded nicely so that it has shape. I feel like I've been just casually filling it up to the shape that doesn't look weird. And it's been still a little bit weird. Draw it. Kind of use this bully thing at the end to brush it off. Someone's car alarm is ringing and it's really annoying. Right now, I'm gonna prime my eyes. Got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. Original. 
like I'm almost out of this there's only a little bit left again I'm too cheap to get it not for now I just got myself like some a new contour palette with the primer because I broke I accidentally broke my previous like contour thingy so I just got that and I told myself like I have to wait for the next one to get like other makeup stuff budget life yo just really little of this just to make sure my eyelid doesn't get too oily at the end of the day so I don't have foundation on so um, I find that whenever I don't have any foundation on I need to put something on my eyes just so my, my eyelid doesn't get too oily yeah, I noticed yesterday that my eyelid was like extremely glittery because of how oily it is plus the eyeshadow and also like um, for my eyeliner to stay and not smudge I always make sure I use a primer um, so I'm using this Revlon color stay and I'm gonna use this as kind of like a base around my like overall of my eyelid I've been using this color for years now Oh my god, whose alarm is that? It's your shit, man. <sighs> okay, I just put it all around my eyelid. And then, I take a clean brush to fluff it up. I like to blend it out, just so it doesn't look too, like, touchy. I just, like, basically just rub around the sides, just to blend it out. Yeah, I think it's blended out. You don't really see it, see it, but I like that it gives my eyelid a darker shade so that my eyes doesn't look so empty because I am a monolith Asian and my eyes just look so flat. Um, so after putting this base color, I go to my Kristen Nian palette for um, this dark shade 8 because it's a really pigmented dark brown. Um, and I've been using this for all of my eye makeup. I know because I don't really have a lot of eye makeup palette, so I just keep going back to this. And I use the same brush for these two different colors because I don't really have makeup brushes. <laughs> okay, and I like to put it at the outer corner of my eyes and like fluff it in. Blend it out. Obviously, they don't really look even. So, I'm gonna try to blend it out as even as I can. Just use my clean brush and I just blend it out to look blurry and like shadowy. Because, after all, this is my eyeshadow, right? Even. <laughs> I can never tell if they're like even. Just kind of like get it done. I mean, like, I'm just gonna stay in my office all day. And I even packed lunch today, so I didn't even need to go out for lunch. So no one's really gonna see me. Except for my colleagues. And they've seen me at my worst, so. It doesn't matter if it's uneven. I'm just gonna be my happy self in my cubicle. <laughs> okay. I think that's fine. Not too bad. I'm just gonna go back to the um, Revlon eyeshadow, kind of draw my under eye. Got my eyeshadow done. Next. Next stuff. Next stuff. I'm putting on my mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Fals Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama. You know, for me, the holy, like the most important step in my makeup is my mascara. 
because I have this really weird eyelid that um, once I apply mascara, it goes, it makes my double eyelid deeper. Let me show you the difference. Okay. Oh shit, it's so hard to apply. So you can see, like, once I apply mascara, it kind of makes my double eyelid falls deeper. Uh, that's why, like, mascara is my most important step in my makeup routine. Um, instead of, like, you know how some people, it's eyebrows because it looks empty. For me, it's my mascara. If there's an apocalypse and I would have to choose only one makeup item, it would be mascara. Going back to my trusted Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is like my third or fourth of this. Um, I really love this, although it's kind of pricey. So on a normal day, I wouldn't do, go too crazy with my eyeliner. I would just line the outer inner corner of that. Let me go closer to my mirror. Sometimes I would just draw like just this outer corner. For me, my features, my eyes are really in the inner corner of my face. So I like to draw wink or like longer eyeliner to elongate my eyes. It definitely works differently for everybody's eyes. Like if your eyes are really apart, I don't think you should do this. Instead, you could do like the inner corner, but that's not for me. <laughs> okay, gave myself a tail. Give my eyes a tail, and I think it looks better. And that's my eye makeup. I don't really do like contour stuff on a normal day, so I just go to my blush and I'm done. And right now, I'm using It Is Free blusher. Oh shit, I love this thing. I love that peachy coral tone. Um, it's in the shade 9. I love my blush. Really red. It makes me really cute. <laughs> One thing I hate about blushes is like I love how much it looks but at the end of the day it's always like almost gone. So I've been thinking of like bringing my blusher to work just to touch up but then again no one's looking at me so I don't need to do that. I just put it on in the morning to make me feel good about my morning. Um, anyways, I'm done with my makeup. That's it. That's pretty much it. So this is my everyday look. Right now I'm just gonna go put on some work clothes and tie up my hair so I don't look like a random bunny just talking to you. Let me just put on let me just go put on some like nice clothes. And this is my finished look and how I get ready for my everyday work makeup. I am not a huge makeup person so I might have done like some mistakes here and there. But you know what? I just do it my way, right? Um, I have like the most basic stuff on. Um, I don't really have like contours and like found I don't even have foundation in my everyday makeup. And it's been doing my skin good. Like if you look closely, my pores have been getting really well. Although I have primer on, like I said, it's not really doing it's not really covering up like completely, but it's good enough. And I'm really glad with how my skin went throughout this period of not having full makeup on every day. So if you would like to watch or find out how I've improved my skin condition or like to learn more about my skin regimen, then comment down below and let me know. And um, subscribe if you have been watching my videos and you like them. And of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't feel like doing anything, then it's okay, okay? Um, you still go and have a good day, okay? Um, I'll see you in my video next week.